folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we have our GTO RX 78 G3 recolors from 012 model. And let's take a look at that head sculpt. That head sculpt looks pretty much the same as the previous GTO RX 78, and that eye sticker is still pretty bad. Now, the head unit is okay, but the body unit is still one of my favorites. It has an alternate body unit that comes along with it, although there are no connectors for the arms. The arm unit has that same articulation, has those little gimmicks for those. Uh, lasers or blasters down the arms and they look pretty good we have the waist unit the waist unit has an alternate version a blue version of this it looks pretty much the same and it looks pretty good as well and let's take a look at those leg units the leg units are a little stiff and uh, they are a little hard to move from the previous versions but once you get to move them they're they're pretty much okay it has that ankle movement as well and now let's take a look at that backpack. The backpack is a little improved. If you take a look at those little boosters down at the back, it's not loose anymore and they stay in place. And now we have the rifles. The rifles are pretty much the same. We got a big chunky rifle right here. And then we also have a smaller uh, rifle, which has that same connector that you can connect down the back of the waist of the RX-78, which is pretty cool. Now, the cool thing about this is it comes with several new accessories. Not really just new, but they're double accessories, I would say. We have double shields, and we have double bazookas. Now, the sad thing is that the stickers for the bazookas only come for one, but pretty much it's okay. So let's go ahead and connect the head unit. It snaps really great to the body. No issues right there. Same goes with the arm sections. It snugs in really tight, good fittings. Same goes with the leg unit to the waist unit. I have no issues connecting that. Really fits like a glove. Good connection, good clutch. And now let's connect the top half to the bottom half. This is where it becomes a little stiff. There was a little bit of uh, uh, stiffness when you try to connect the top half down the bottom half, but once you fit that in, it's all good. The backpack fits snugly well, and same goes with the shield. There's a little bit of resistance. You can feel like it's not going to fit, but just put a little bit of elbow grease to that, and bada bing, it connects really good. Now, the GTO RX-78 G3 has two bazookas, and we'll talk about how to connect those extra bazookas down the back later. But overall, it looks really fantastic, and I'm really liking it. Now, here we are. We have all of the 012 model GTO RX-78 uh, models that we have in our collection right now. They look pretty stunning. I love it. And here's the comparison with the GTO RX-78 normal colors. The yellow is a little more striking on the G3. Plus, I made the full armor version with two kits and I've added those as a customized part. But the cool thing about the G3 is that it already comes with two extra shields. Now, the back of the full armor version that I made has that round center where you can connect the shield. You can use that to actually connect the bazooka that comes along with the G3 so that you can carry it. And here we have the comparison. If you go side by side, it actually looks really great together. And the plastic quality of this thing is really not that bad. I like the plastic quality. It comes with a really decent stand again. And these stands are really a plus. It's a big bonus to the kit because you can do these dynamic poses. And even though without that stand, you can actually pose this model kit without the use of that it finds its center of gravity and it's pretty stable it holds pretty well and even though you make the movements around the arms carrying the two bazookas it actually stays in its place so that's a good center of gravity right there it doesn't keel forward doesn't fall back but when you connect those stands that's when you can really make those dynamic poses happen and i really think that's one of the best things right here it's the dynamism of the kit it brings that that quality of posing to the model kit and it also comes with two beam sabers one is that curved blade which is for making that iconic pose where the rx-78 slashes downwards and kneels and now let's talk about the things that i like the good quality plastic of course is very much welcome in this kit vibrant colors i love the yellow i love the blue on this alternative parts make this a lot playable Tons of accessories. You got two bazookas, two shields, two rifles. What more can you want? 
and there are a lot of different accessories that you can play around with. Now as much as I like this kit, there are some flaws. The lower leg section is a little stiff and there are some parts that fall off. Those little round things, they still keep falling off. The stairs are really, really bad and it's cumbersome to disconnect, reconnect, play around. So we're giving this an overall rating of 8 out of 10 and if you ask me, that's still okay. And that's pretty much all the time that we have right now folks. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, hit on the like. Hit the bell notification. And once more, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay awesome. Till all in one, peace out. Rock and roll. Bye, everybody. Bye.